What's up guys, what's going on? So it's a new video. Today we are back in the Savage Lands and we have no time to waste because as always it is a struggle to even survive in this game. We're hearing noises. We hit J to do stuff. You know, the stuff isn't being done too well right now. But first thing on our list, we gotta make a campfire ASAP so we can cook up any and all deer meats, which hopefully will keep us going. Bad news. Our axe here is looking to be in absolutely shit-tastic condition. As in, it's gonna break any hit now. This is- oh. Yep. Can we punch the rest of this tree? No, we cannot. Can we craft up another one? I don't think so. I think we're just a little bit screwed. Luckily for us, we have a hammer. You know, maybe hammers can chop, chop down trees too. Does not appear to be the case. Son of a bitch. Hmm. Well, we are in quite the predicament then. Ugh, excuse me, this last we left off, well, how do we really make something? We just gotta find stone, sticks, and sinew, which we already have. Now the question is, how the hell do we get more sticks? Might be time to go on an adventure, because we can actually craft some more sticks right now. Thank God for that. Let's get this hatchet going. Let's continue our cutting adventure. Hey, we completed some survival tasks. I don't remember those being there before. I don't remember that entire menu being there, to be honest. I think there may have been an update to the game or something, but we must work quickly because, holy shit, we're kind of getting screwed kind of pretty quick. So, uh, let's try to chop this down ASAP. Now, another problem here. We... Is this thing not getting chopped down? I don't think that's a choppable tree. God damn it. Uh, okay, can we sleep here? Yet? I'm hitting Z to sleep. No, doesn't seem to be the case. Huh. Again, food does not seem to be the best right now. Do we have any other forms of food? No, we just have the, just have the meat. Uh, I don't have time to spare then. We gotta do something about this ASAP. If not, probably gonna die. And if we die, it's probably pretty bad. Is this not gonna get chopped down? Hello? There we go. That was weird, to say the least. Oh, we can see a dragon in the tower in the distance. God damn it, where the fuck are you going, tree? Hmm, yeah, so the first thing I definitely notice in this game that has to be changed ASAP is how quickly that blue meter or whatever goes, because we're about to die of that, if I'm not mistaken. Pretty sure we are about to die of it, unless that's just stamina, which hopefully it is. Uh, cook meat and stay warm. We do not, we do not have the rocks for that. Uh, we have flint. Actually, a good chunk of it, but not the rocks. I think, don't quote me, we might be able to go hitting some stuff with our hammer. Mainly a rock. See if that does anything. Uh, it was... We were hitting it. Didn't accomplish anything, though. Hmm. Sadly... Ow, stop. That's a weird noise. I don't know what that was. I hope that was just like deer slash elk. Hmm. I think we should just take this opportunity. You know what? There's not much hope for us unless we find stone anyway. Let's go out. Let's travel amid the darkness towards the evil tower and see what awaits there. I'm very interested to see what the hell this thing could even be about. Uh, so let's see here. Cold is 0%. Uh, we are currently dying of coldness. Well, shit. Well, you know what we're gonna end up doing then? We're gonna run to the shoreline to make it easier to pick our shit up after we die. You know, it's actually gonna be a lot easier. Implying we get there in time. If we don't get there in time, we're just gonna die along the way. And it's gonna be even worse. So this is actually kinda risky. We should probably hurry up. God damn it. Go. Go, you sack of shit. I'm not really sure how else we could raise our heat. Our shelter didn't seem to work too well. Uh, again, health not seeming to be doing too well. Come on, let's get to the shoreline. We should get there in plenty of time. I would, if we get there with some time to spare, what we should do is search for that kind of little canoe structure that marks the spawn point. I think that'll make it easier on us. As long as it's shoreline, we'll be good, though. Uh, we're health decaying pretty fast, but we should get there in time. And then, once we die, respawn, we'll go ahead 
and head on to that tower and see what the, all that dragon business is about, because it's got me asking a few questions, and I'm not usually one to ask questions, so definitely... Is that a fucking... Why is there a fucking fire? Yo, what the fuck? Who's lean to? Is that? Whose shit is that? We might be able to live to the fire. Oh my god. It's our beacon of hope. 15. Come on. Stop dying of cold. It's gonna be warm. It gets better. It gets better. Please. Stop dying. I'm gonna I'm gonna die, aren't I? Well, you know what? It was a good run. Ah shit. I know. No, the health's starting to drop less. Okay. Forge items. Please. Cook the fucking meat. We're gonna eat the shit out of that. Oh my god. I don't know where the last one went. Oh, probably in our inventory. There we go. Whew, baby boy. That was a close one. I don't know what the hell this place is, though. And it kind of has me a little bit frightened. And by a little bit, I mean very frightened. Like crouch? I don't even know how to crouch. It's not... maybe axe? No? Maybe there isn't a crouch, but... <gasps> a stone sword, too? Hello. What is this mythical place? I'm not entirely sure. Let's eat another piece of meat here. Get all our stats up. Oh my god, that is a sloppy eating noise. Let's craft up a couple sticks. Do a little bit of inventory management here. That'll free up the slot for the sword. And oh baby, we got a little bit of a start here. Now, I'm just kind of worried because I don't know whose house this is. <laughs> I don't know why no one's here. I don't know how this got here. And again, I'm frightened. I think our health's finally going to be up past 50%. Thank God for that. And then we must venture forth towards the tower and see what it is about. That's really weird. We got extremely lucky with this. <laughs> really, we could not have got luckier with this. So I'm so happy that that ended up buffing out. Uh, tainted meat off in the distance here. Not that I don't want to touch that. I heard. It seemed to be a little bit of a disturbing sound, but I thought I saw something in the distance. Yeah. Well, it's gonna be nighttime for decent chunks, so probably in our best interests to taper off from that area. Let's see. Water. Yep, still. You look at water and it's... One makes your computer jump off a bridge. Ah, shit. No, it's gonna be way too cold, though, with night time. Huh. Ha, ha, ha. I mean... Wait, where'd the rest of our meat go? Do we eat all of the meat? Holy shit. We better find some shelter quick. If not, we might need to stay at that area for the rest of the night. Huh. No. No, I say we YOLO it. I say we YOLO it. Let's see what else we can find in this very distinct world. Maybe if we could craft a torch, that could help us out a little bit, keep us warm. Uh, torch, keep us warm? Yeah? Yeah? No. Okay, that's cool. I guess torches don't keep you warm. Completely realistic. Ow. Just got some fire in my eye. Well, I mean, it lights up about a two meteor rate two meteor <laughs> two meter radius around us, so hey, we got that to look forward to. <laughs> Something. Can't oh my god, ow. That burns. My face. I'm looking like Scarface after this. Huh. Maybe if we don't run as much, our coldness won't be going up slash down as much. <sighs> as long as we can get to that tower before we freeze to death, hopefully we'll be alright. Ow. Fire in face. It's actually really bright on my screen. Ow. I'm saying ow not because I'm pretending to be the guy in game, but because that actually hurts my eyes. It's painful. Ow. 52%. We got the little village up here. We could try to take shelter in here for the time being. Uh, maybe if we're in a house, it'll be a tad bit warmer. Maybe. Is this the same village? Yeah, it should be. Maybe if we stay by the forge. Because I don't think the fire pit's lit for some reason. 
I don't really know how to light it. Uh, that's not how. Swing your shit at it. Okay. Let's run to the forge. And hopefully that'll keep us warm for the time being. Let's kind of use these as pit stops to warm up. It's kind of where we stand. What is this? Flint. The thing we already have so much of. Please, forge. Like... Okay, they should probably make it so the forge does keep you warm. Because, I mean, honestly... You know, in all fairness... I think it should keep you warm. Okay. Uh, apparently the torch... It's not how you light a fire. Thank you. I think this is th this pit's just kind of a lost cause. Huh. Well, that kind of... That kind of screws us over just a little bit. Hmm. We got some boots on the bright side. Hmm. Maybe what we'll try to do then is venture around the village, loot this place up. If we die, we can venture back here. Grab whatever. Actually, we got a couple apples. Maybe that'll keep us warm. No, then no point in really eating those. God damn it. Uh, I feel like I'm missing something so obvious to lighting them on fire, but... They're really... Oh, shit. It's a fucking wolf, bro. Get away from here. Circle strafe, circle strafe, circle strafe. You can't hit this. You can't hit this. Ow. I don't think he's hit this yet. Oh, we got him. What did he drop? A little bit of meat that we can't really cook. Eh. I'll leave that on the corpse just in case. Yeah, I think there's something in the town hall. Let's go and check that out. I saw something flashing. An apple. Oh, shit. We are really getting decked out now. We're just a couple gloves short. Uh, apples, which we won't eat, because that's not really going to keep us warm and or warm us up. Which is kind of our key issue right now. We could make a mad dash back to that camp, but I think just dying here isn't an awful idea. Tainted meat, but I really see no point in ever eating that, because you're just going to poison yourself, and poisoning is painful. So, we've completed plenty of survival tasks. I'm kind of happy about that. Survival checklist. Ooh, there's a checklist. Hey, look at that. What do we get if we finish it? I don't know. Probably not much. Yeah, well, maybe we'll just die peacefully in the middle of this village. And accept the consequences. Maybe pick another fight. Because, I mean... That deer scared the crap out of me. That deer wanted to fight. That's what he wanted. He heard me. He's like, oh, well, this, this star guy thinks he's tough, huh? I'm gonna, gonna run up here and just gonna beat the poop out of him. And I'm just like, no, please, no. There must be some sort of fire starter thing, maybe? I just don't see a way of doing this. Which is very unfortunate. We're up to two stones. Holy hell. It's amazing. <sighs> Dimly lit torch. Why is there a difference between the two? Does one just use... Huh? That's kind of confusing. Pine strong box. Ooh. Storage container. Thought I heard movement. Unless that's just us now. Ah, crap. Well, now we get to die in the dark, so... That's encouraging, isn't it? Yeah, it is. All right. Well, the death's going to be setting in any moment now. And I think we, for the most part, got everything around these parts. No real enemies to fight. And besides the tainted meats, I don't think that... Actually, no, I think there's an animal bone over here. God damn it, the ambient noises, man. Ambient noises always just creep me out. It's awful. At least we're dying quickly. With veins popping out of our eyebrows. Or eyes, not eyebrows. Oh, do eyebrows have veins? I don't think so. Eyebrows are just like hair, right? Unless my eyebrow anatomy is like off, but I don't think you need to be an eyebrow -ologist to really fully comprehend that. But again, I'm not one to judge. Uh, so just doing this quick double check around these parts, and it's revealing pretty much what we suspected. That there's not really much. I mean, it is nice that every time we do hop back in, the loot kind of respawns around here. But that's about it. Now then. Again, I 
feel like there has to be some sort of a way. Maybe just drop a log? Like... No. I didn't think so. Well, let's die this peaceful death under the statue of the dragon. Uh, Alduin, my king, take me to... Uh... Dragon World. Fuck, that sounds like Disney World or some shit. I don't know. Oh. Ugh. I forgot how unsettling that screen is. Yeah, so... What I've been able... To... Not guess, but learn so far. Food... Is... Pretty damn... S not scarce? But food... Uh, what does food do? I'm trying to come up with words and words aren't coming up. Uh, food is super essential because of how fast your, uh, health meter or whatever goes down. At nighttime, being cold is freaking awful. Uh, even at daytime you can kind of get cold too. I think I was noticing that in the last couple episodes, so there's that. Fighting? Not super in-depth right now, but again, it is early alpha, so... Can't criticize it like it's a full game, but nonetheless, you do have to you do have to note these types of things. I mean, so far, coldness really annoying, especially if you're starting out. They should probably do something about that. Uh, yeah, if we head towards that tower, I think we'll just end up back home. Ah, uh, yeah, so that's really annoying. They oh hey, it's our lean. Holy shit, we found this thing easily. Can we stay in there for warmth. I don't really, I, I, okay, I I just gotta double check here. Key config. Can you freaking crouch? Straight foot? No, I don't, there's... There's no crouch. Block is mouse one. What the fuck? What is mouse one to these people? Journal, drop item. Regular chat. Yeah, like... I did, mouse one, that'd be like, what, middle mouse? Right? I don't know. It's really weird. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll make our way to the village next time, and then we'll conquer the dragon's tower. Fuck! What is that? Okay, you know, I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna die a peaceful death. Fuck. Fuck. That scared the shit out of me. Oh my god, is that a hellhound? Look at this shit. Woo. Three sixties around it. I want to find out what the fuck this thing is. I'm gonna punch the shit out of it. Cause it literally just punched the shit out of my heart. Broke it straight in half. Oh my god. Oh. As soon as this thing wants to die, I mean, to be fair, I am using my fists, not the most effective. This is like a hellhound or some shit. It's like a reptilian dog. This isn't Call of Duty, like, zombies. I don't want fucking hellhounds coming after me every five rounds. This is bullshit. Just die, you piece of shit. It's not that hard. He seems to be friendly. I'm gonna take advantage of this and beat the shit out of him even more. My beating shit out of seems to be doing little. Okay, he's feisty again. Oh, let's reverse it. Let's reverse it. We got him. What the hell was that? We got decaying flesh, tainted meat, and a bone. That sucked. We're at four health, and this is awful. So we're probably just going to die peacefully off camera. And then make our way back to the village once daytime hits and continue our adventure. Because, uh, yeah, coldness sucks so far. Hunger seems to be going down a bit less quickly, but still, it probably wanted. D d yeah, it's a balancing. It's alpha, and uh, I just beat the shit out of a dog with my fist by running circles around it. So, I mean, that's an accomplishment, right? But uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for me for now, though. So, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hopefully, you did enjoy it. As always, if you did, appreciate a like and subscribe. Signing out. Love you guys. See ya.